Welcome back to the Cruise World. Today we're taking a tour of the Carnival Glory. If you love cruising, this is the place for ship tours, vlogs, tips, parodies, and a whole lot more. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel with that notification bell turned on. The Glory joined the Carnival fleet in 2003 as the second of five Conquest class ships. And though she has sailed from Miami, New York, and Norfolk, she now calls New Orleans home. Glory was dry docked in 2021 for general maintenance, where she was the second ship to receive Carnival's new red, white, and blue livery that was first introduced on Mardi Gras. Glory has a gross tonnage of 110,000. She's 952 feet long with 13 passenger decks and a capacity for 2,980 passengers. Today's tour is going to focus on the public areas of the Glory, so we'll skip right past decks 1, 2, 6, 7, and 8, which are all comprised of staterooms. Starting on deck three forward, and this is where you'll find the Amber Palace Main Show Lounge, where you can see playlist productions at night, as well as variety acts, bingo, and deal or no deal. The lounge spans three decks and has a capacity for 1,400 guests. Next, we enter the atrium, where you'll find the guest services area on the starboard side. And at the center is the Colors Lobby area. This is a great place to grab a drink, listen to music, or just hang out. And this area is also home to numerous activities and musical performances during a typical cruise. Over on the port or left side is the Carnival Adventure Shore Excursion Desk where you can learn about and purchase all the excursions that Carnival has to offer. As we move out of the Colors Lobby area, we have the Silver Room Art Gallery on our left. This is where you can purchase the art you see displayed around the ship and at various onboard auctions. And on the right is the Copper Room. This space is used for meetings and private events. And now we're at the Golden Restaurant. This is the first of our two main dining rooms. And at the rear of Deck 3 is the Platinum Restaurant. Both main dining rooms have seating on both the third and fourth decks and serve breakfast and dinner daily, as well as brunch on sea days. Up to deck four and just outside the theater entrance, we move back towards the atrium area, where you'll see photographs that the Pixels photo team has been taking of all the fun on board the ship. On our right is the black and white library, and this is a great spot to read a book or play some card or board games with friends and family. And as we circle back around the atrium, you'll see a lot more photos as we move into the Pixels Gallery, where you can purchase a variety of gifts like frames, mugs, photo equipment, and more. Right outside of the Deck 4 entrance of the Golden Restaurant is Circle C. This is the dedicated space for kids ages 12 to 14 with video games, movies, parties, and other planned activities. Just past the Golden Restaurant, you'll find the Green Room. This is another space that can be used for private functions and meetings. And just before we get to the rear of the ship in the Platinum Restaurant, you'll find the Ivory Club Lounge, a cigar bar featuring drinks and live music. Up to Deck 5, the Promenade Deck, where we'll start on the starboard side up front, just outside the Amber Palace, and this is the place to be if you're in the mood to shop. Grab deals on items like watches, perfumes, and sunglasses, or grab souvenirs as well as duty-free tobacco and liquor across the way at the Carnival Store. Next up is the Skybox Sports Bar, where you can grab a drink and watch a game, get the latest scores, or even play some sports trivia. And 
And if you have a sweet tooth, this next spot is just for you. Cherry on top, it's the onboard candy store and more. Now we'll make our way down Kaleidoscope Boulevard into the Camel Club Casino, where you can put your skills and a little luck to the test with your favorite slots, table games, poker, and more. And if you get thirsty, drinks are only a few steps away at the Kaleidoscope Bar. Moving along the boulevard, there's a Carnival Adventure store where you can find more merchandise to purchase, as well as the Java Blue Cafe where you can get your coffee fix or even grab some baked goods and milkshakes. Right next door to Java Blue is Club O2, where teens ages 15 to 17 can hang out, watch movies, listen to music, play video games, and create a vacation experience all their own. Continuing on, we pass the Taste Bar, where at select times, you can sample complimentary bite-sized offerings from venues throughout the ship. Ultraviolet's Arcade is full of current and classic video games to keep you entertained, but before you set the kids loose in here, remember, charges do apply. The White Heat Dance Club is used for various functions during the day, such as art auctions, but things heat up at night as the DJ spins your favorite hits as you dance the night away. Straight ahead is the Alchemy Bar, a vintage-themed cocktail pharmacy where you can choose a remedy from the menu or let the mix master prescribe a custom elixir just for you. Just around the corner is Cinnabar Piano Bar, a great spot to hang out, grab a drink and request and sing along to all your favorite tunes. Continuing on is Bar Blue, where you can catch various live music acts. And this is also the ship's main venue for karaoke each night. And at the rear of Deck 5 is the Ebony Cabaret Lounge. This is home to the Punchliner Comedy Club and other variety acts. But during your cruise, Carnival will showcase several comedians with both family-friendly and adult-themed shows. When we think about cruising, some of the things that come to mind are food, drinks, fun, and sun. And you'll find all of those things right here on Deck 9, the Lido Deck. We'll start at the aft or rear of the ship at Pizza Pirate, where you can grab a hot slice 24 hours a day, or even have it delivered to wherever you are on the ship. Wash your slices down with a drink from the Azure Bar, or dip your feet in the pool, or one of two Whirlpool spas. This area also has a retractable roof, so the space can be used during inclement weather. Now we'll head over to the Seafood Shack, where for an additional cost, you can grab some lobster rolls, fish and chips, or some clam chowder. And now we're moving into the Red Sail Restaurant and Grand Buffet area. Here you can satisfy your cravings at breakfast, lunch, and dinner with tons of different options that rotate every day. There's also a spot for deli sandwiches, sushi, and poke bowls and a self-serve beer station. As we exit the buffet and enter the turquoise pool area on the left or port side of the ship, we have the Blue Iguana Cantina, where you can grab authentic tacos and burritos and wash it down with your choice of beverage from the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. And over on the right or starboard side of the ship is the world famous Guy's Burger Joint, and another favorite of ours, the Red Frog Rum Bar. And of course, we can't forget about the pool. 
This is always a favorite hangout spot to get some sun, take a dip, or relax in a hot tub while listening to music or even watching a dive-in movie on the big screen after the sun goes down. There is ample seating on deck 10 that provides amazing views of the ocean as well as the Lido deck below. Tiered seating also provides a great view of all the action on the Lido deck where they hold awesome dance parties almost every day, as well as other activities like ice carvings, trivia, and the Groove for St. Jude event. Deck 10 is also home to the Waterworks area, which has a splash zone, 150 gallon power drencher bucket, as well as two slides, aqua tunnel, and twister. And at midship here on Deck 10 is where you'll find Carnival Glory's only true specialty restaurant, Emerald Steakhouse. In addition to premium cuts of beef cooked to your liking, this horseshoe shaped room offers great panoramic views, especially at sunset. And back just a bit farther, you'll find Old Fashioned Barbecue, which is open for lunch, offering barbecue chicken, pork, and beef, along with an assortment of sides and Guy Fieri's specialty sauces. Staying at the rear of the ship, we head up to Deck 11, where in addition to amazing views, you'll also find a jogging track, shuffleboard area, and the sports court. And up at the front of the ship on Deck 11, you'll find the Spa Carnival and the Fitness Center. The spa features treatment rooms, a beauty salon, and separate steam and sauna rooms for men and women. The Fitness Center is well equipped with weights and machines for all your cardiovascular and weight training needs. We'll head back to the rear of the ship and up to Deck 12 where, in the shadows of the iconic Carnival Funnel, you can challenge friends and family to a friendly or competitive game of mini golf. Back up front on Deck 12, the interior is home to Camp Ocean. This is for kids aged 2 to 11, as well as Dr. Seuss Bookville and a kids outdoor play area. But as we step outside, the starboard side is home to the adults only serenity area that extends up to Deck 14 as well. This area features ample seating areas, towel station, bar, and two Whirlpool hot tubs. And also up here on the sky deck are the entrances for the two waterworks slides. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the Carnival Glory. If you've sailed on this Conquest class fun ship before, let us know what your favorite things about her are down in the comments. And if you're booked or thinking about booking, let us know what you're looking forward to most. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the cruise content. And consider checking out these videos that YouTube recommends. Remember, life is short. Cruising is fun. We'll see you soon.